This is interesting. Brown's defensive tackles drafted since 2020, which refers to as the Andrew Barry era. So Jordan Elliott left in free agency. Tommy Togiai cut. He was also cut by the Falcons today. Perion Winfrey cut. Head off the field issue. Siaki could cut. Um, and he points out they need to hit on Michael Hall Jr. The only thing I – and again, I, those are not great picks. But when you're drafting in the third round – like they are, you're drafting a unique trait or skill, not an all-around guy. And so they've, they've kind of missed, um, you know. And you, when you bring in a defensive coordinator like Jim Schwartz, what you're looking for is a little different than it's been in the past. Now, the eco one makes no sense at all because Schwartz was here, and he just, for whatever reason, that it never took. Yeah, and he was the one pounding the table for him. So that's the reason I gave it grace because I, I had to write the reaction article when they drafted Ika and I. I was not high on the pick. I didn't get the fit. But then you hear Schwartz was into it. It's like, okay, well, that man knows way more about football than I do. Give him the benefit of the doubt. But we just saw a huge failure to launch. And even throughout this preseason, it was very evident on tape that it was unplayable. You know, uh, but we, me and you sat here for the last couple of years pounding the table. You know, they kept taking these third, fourth round defensive tackles and we needed them to take a higher swing. Well, last year they didn't have a first round pick. The highest swing they could have taken was a second round pick. And that's what they did. And they went complete ceiling with the pick. You go and you're, you're betting on traits of Michael Hall. So they yes, they need Michael Hall to hit. This is the first and it's a, a top two round pick at the position. You know, and and even last year, I only viewed one defensive tackle with a first round grade in Johnny Newton, and he ended up slipping. But if you're getting all the traits that you want from an aggressive defensive coordinator who really gets after a pass rush from the interior, you get why you go after a Michael Hall. He is a guy who can win with quickness, and he has great leverage, and he could grow into a run defender. He's very, very young. You know, now we've talked about his issues off the field, kind of bleeding over onto the field. He's going to start the year on the, the commissioner's list. You don't know when you're going to get him back, but they do need this to hit. Mac is 100% right. You've taken a ton of mid-range swings on defensive tackle and missed on all of them. At some point, you have to hit, and this was the highest swing. So if you're going to connect, now's the time. Yeah, and you could say there's a similar thing with the wide receivers, and they've been able to offset it by going out and making some good trades um, to acquire uh, top-line wide receivers. 